we've been given a green light to go from where we are now, um, bypass Kawanyama and head towards the coast into the Gulf. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. We're still up here in Cape York, far north Queensland, which is northern Australia, far northern Australia for you international viewers. Um, Dane and I are up here exploring this new river system we've never been to before. So today is all about reconnaissance, eh? Hey? Yeah, getting to know the system, see if we can find any good spots to fish. We've made it to the mouth of a river, um, a river just off Kawanyama. And um, we're doing a bit of a, I suppose, a reconnaissance mission and a bit of a test run in the boat. Got a few new toys in the boat. Big 90 horsepower Yami on the back there. And um, the motor guide on the front, 80 pound motor guide. So it should make barra fishing just that little bit easier. But yeah, we just got here to the mouth and it's an absolutely beautiful morning. It's so good to be back on the west coast with these big long sand spits and glassy conditions out the back. It's unreal, hey? Big, gorgeous. Big she oaks on the, on the river banks. Oh, look up there. What's there's a big bird up there. Is that a wedgie? Unreal spot. So we're marking a few fish here. Oh, another one up there. We've got a bit of a rock bar here on the spit and we're, we're marking a few fish underneath us. So just trying to work out what the tide's doing. It should change any minute now. And I think we're going to start on this edge here. Just got to get lures ready. I got to retie my knots because I was fishing. I still got 15 pound leader on. 15 pound? Yeah. Babies. Just leave it, mate. You'll be right. Babies. And um, we've got to tidy this boat. Dane's going to give it a good wash. <laughs> it's going to be a team effort. Woo! All right, let's get, let's get in position. Drop the electric down and get our gear ready. I think everyone saw it. No, think yeah, so. they did. And he's just legal. And he's just legal by one centimeter. Ooh. Usually we wouldn't keep him, but we're pretty desperate. Yeah. All right, well that's lunch sorted. We've got a little blue salmon and a little finger mark. And I know it's not like big fish, but we don't have any food with us today and I'm getting hungry already. So like Dane said before, sometimes we just, we, we don't keep these fish. We just keep chucking them back. And then it's like two o'clock in the afternoon and we're just ravenous and I'm cranky and I just don't think it's worth it. Like we might go make a fire soon, make up some popcorn salmon and popcorn finger mark. That's good. How's that? Yeah, delicious. Oh, beauty! <laughs> Nice one, bro. Thanks, mate. Yes. See ya, buddy. Ah. Oh, that was not very graceful, that one. All right, time for a snack. 
Just got this nice little deep spot to leave the boat. In about two meters of water and the tide's running out, so we're gonna run the anchor up. And um, the bow's just sitting up on the sand there a little bit. Find some shade up there under the she oaks. Looks like plenty of firewood. Get some coals burning and um, we'll cook up this fish. We're gonna do popcorn, like the old popcorn barra. But um, blue salmon and pink and on. Should be yummy. So Nate's just down there at the boat, just filleting our two fish for lunch. I've just come up here in the shade of the casuarinas. I'm gonna start this fire. I just wanted to show you how many shells there are here. Look at this. There's just billions of them. All over that beach is just loaded with shells. It's so crunchy to walk on, it's awesome. Here we go. Let's get up there into the shade. Boat should be right there, we've got the anchor out. Welcome to paradise. Plate here of fresh fish. We got that blue salmon and the finger mark. Just filleted it up on the back of the boat there so we had the salt water. Oh, look at these shells. Wow. Um, yeah, I just filleted up the fish on the back of the boat just to make it a bit easier. And then wash the fillets in the salt water. Always try and wash your fillets in salt water, not fresh. Have a go at this place. Absolutely magnificent. So in the coming episodes, Dane and I are going to be taking this big boat way down the coast, way down that way, further down into the Gulf, um, and just camping in river mounds like this, tying up the hammocks, living off the land like this, and maybe even pushing way upstream if we can find a big river, and um, going to the freshwater, do a bit of exploring up there, go for a hike, do that kind of stuff. So heaps of adventures to come. We've got permission to get up into these rivers by the uh, traditional owners which is, we've been very lucky to get that um, so yeah lots of adventures planned stick around taking a nice little break from fishing for the morning how'd you go mate good. all good how many shells are on this beach dude it's crazy hey yeah oh, i love the smell of the she oaks burning nice yeah. hey back so many good memories. Oh, how's our, did he just make this little fire pit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, you're, you're a good homemaker. Look at the shells mate, look, it's amazing. Oh, a bit of shade. I know, it's nice isn't it? That tide's roaring out now. Nice to get out of the sun. Isn't it? This is the lie. Isn't it? Is this the uh, little shells you're talking about? Yeah. Yeah, did you see him in the little channel on the way up? No. Oh, there's thousands. Huh. You could fill a bucket in five minutes. Wow. Yeah. Look at well, that. While this is Amazing. Down, Let's go fill it. a bucket. <laughs> <laughs> I might send the drone up. Yeah, all right, good idea. Give us a look. standard fish mix for quite a while. So we got brown rice flour. Uh, this is normally a vegetable stock, but we've gone chicken stock. It's just a stock powder. The fish, shake it up in a bag, and then um, heat up some rice bran oil in a pan and just shallow fry it. Simple as that, it's so delicious. Flop the fish away from yourself, mate. 
yeah. for a specific technique. But Someone told me that that's the way you should be doing it. Really? Yeah. yeah right. I think it's like a safety thing. Yeah, right. Thanks for the helpful hints in the comments. That actually makes sense. So I didn't realise I was doing it the other way. Mate, we've actually got a little bit of fish here. I'm not going to do two batches. That's all right. Good. Yeah. Yes. This is good. It's never quite as hot when you do your second batch for some reason. Like the heat's been taken out of it. Mm. I'm gonna go a little crunchy bit for the taster. Hot? Definitely hot. That's the finger mark. And it's absolutely delicious. Oh. How good is this? This is what it's all about. The simple stuff, eh? Yeah. Sometimes it's about catching big fish, like we do get carried away, but... Yep. This is all it takes. So there you go, guys. Blue salmon is actually really yummy. <laughs> when it's fresh. Most fish is yummy when it's fresh. And every fish is yummy when you're hungry. Mm. On to the next adventure. Oh, Jesus, what was that? Is that like a... Snake skeleton. Snake skeleton. Is it? Yeah. You stand on it. Yeah. Hey, mate, look at all these little... What are they, like little pippy... Yeah. Look at them. So many of them. Little mussels. Yeah. Wow. They'd be yummy, hey, if you had a heap of them, boiled them up. That's super something. Bit of garlic, yeah. butter. Make a nice... Um, Seafood broth. Yeah. Yeah, with some mud muscle. Mm. Bit of a back eddy forming here. Yeah. Looks good, eh? You should have a flick. Yeah. Another near sighting. <laughs> Another near sighting. <laughs> right, we found a spot at the mouth of this tiny little feeder creek here and we got tide pushing out through there and then tide coming down from the main river. And there's a little bit of structure on the edge there, a little bit up along this edge. Ooh, bit of movement. I don't know, but it's, it could happen. Get this electric going. This thing's a game changer. What do you got on? Pink slim twitcher. Ooh, pink twitcher. Uh, anchor lock. So handy. <laughs> I'm starting to get a good foot down. Right, Dane's gonna stick his body down a crab hole, get us a big mud crab for dinner. Well, we're not getting barra for dinner at this stage. No. No, we've still got like five hours. So we've got to do something. We're good, we're good. We're gonna get a barra for dinner. Did you hear that? We're getting a barra for dinner. 100%. <laughs> maybe. 100% maybe. I scream, get in the boat, just get in. There's a crab in here. Yeah? It's bloody deep. <laughs> really deep. Not as deep as your pond's crap. Ah, no luck yet. Ooh, something's getting busted up over there. So we've just found this corner, guys. There's a bit of a junction, goes that way and that way. 
James put a vibe on and I've got a big uh, slim twitcher. Yeah, true. We came up here because we're watching the temperature. It is! Yeah. Yes! Lunch, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate, that's epic. It looks like 60 easy. Down deep on the vibe? No, nah, over there on that corner. That sort of wind's pushing up uh, the water up there, I reckon. Good job. Yeah, so we were just watching the temperature and we've made it so far upstream. We pushed so far upstream just watching the um, watching the sounder and the temperature. Bring him to me. Oh, I'm so stoked we've finally seen a barra today. Dane saw one jump, free jump before. You know, he's about 70 centimetres. Yes. Oh, yes. that's a ripper. Look how gorgeous he is. Look at the colours. Oh, mate. <laughs> how, good, yes. how good does it feel to find the barra finally? Oh, Jeez, we put in some hard yards, didn't we? That's good. That, that pays off. Yeah, know? it feels good when it pays off. Like you, you, so there you, you go. have a tactic and then 26.5 degrees. Yeah, we, we started at 25.4. You have a tactic and it works. Unreal. That's that. a healthy looking fish too. Isn't he? He's thick. What'd you get it on? Show for on the vibe. On that little dark vibe. I think it's a Berkeley shimmer, I think they're called. Yes. Gold tail. Golden ticket. Yeah, right boy. Right when we need it, too. Boy. I'm starting to get hungry again. Yeah, let's keep him. Oh, Not many fish are going 100%. back today. <laughs> nah, that's not true. We threw heaps back this morning. Under the boat. Under the boat. I was just bobbing it up and up and down off the mud. I'm watching what? that. No way. Look at this guy. Oh, no. I don't know what, what that is. It's not. It is. Bring him Dinner as well. Beautiful. Again on the vibe. Yeah. Vibe delicious. Yes. Good fish, mate. The vibes are killing it. Barra oh, and a thready. It's just this mud, like that muddy deep hole. Day can change. We were just like, oh, we're so slow. It. Yeah. <laughs> just that, what, one degree warmer mm -hmm. and that push up the river. Yeah, paid off. Yeah. Found the good ones just circling around. Can you see that, guys? A pair of jabberers, eh? Just circling around. That's so cool. Look at that. Amazing. The bird life over on the west coast. <clears throat> is just spectacular. I've never seen such incredible amount of bird life than the West Coast. Look at that. Did you get them? I got some photos, but not video. Did you get them when they cross over? Maybe. Let's see. Some up there, mate. No. I haven't got catch any fish. Not bad, mate. They're nice and healthy though, aren't they? Look yeah. at the thick ears across the shoulders. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're, they're eating plenty, that's for sure. Get away from those rakers. Yeah, beauty. Gorgeous colours. Yeah, super fun to catch that. Did you measure him? No. Just measure him out of interest, I reckon he'd be... You reckon he'd be close? Or 55. He's on. Are ya? Good hit. Oh, jumping barra. Yes. There we go. It's actually turned on here, Gustavo. <laughs> Hasn't it ever? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Nice, mate. Look at that. Awesome, eh? Wow. On the uh, Berkeley Shimmer, the vibes. Yeah. They're working. Doing the damage in the mud, eh? Yeah, I tried a hard body and couldn't get a bite. Change to this. Because Dane's getting them on the vibe. And just he smacked it. And just getting down deeper, you reckon? Yeah. They're all I just sitting so. on the bottom like. It's also that vibration. Yeah, they love it, eh? Yeah. Well done. You're looking busy. Yeah. I'll yeah. take care of the fishing for a bit. It's hard with these things. Yeah, look at the knuckles on them, guys. You got these big knuckles. 
on the thread pin salmon. Make it very difficult to fill it, but you've done a good job there. That's still heaps of meat. Yeah, heaps. Can we get down to the mouth, eh, mate? <coughs> yeah, mate, sounds good. See what the tide's doing down there. Should be raging out by now. this crop guys. Hopefully you can see him here on the footage. I reckon he's about three and a half meters. He's got a big head on him. Oh yeah. Finally we can show you guys a saltwater crocodile. <laughs> we always miss them. Just like that, he's gone. Oh, they're, they're just such cunning buddy creatures, aren't they? up some thready on the jet boil here. We've just got back to the boat ramp. Lane's troop is up there with a the fridge in it and we've decided we want to keep fishing for the afternoon down at the mouth, maybe another hour or so. Um, just because that tide's going to keep draining out and it would be good to, to see the mouth at a really low tide. There could be some big barrier about. Um, we might send the drone back up and look for a crock or two. And, and Dane is at the back here filling up the, those two barra. That's the plan. So we're back here. We're going to chuck the, the fish in the um, in the troopy in the fridge, and then we're going to head down to the mouth, and we can try and snack on this threadfin salmon. But it's so hard to cook on this thing. across the other side of the river here we just met. He said he's been watching that croc.
Good one? Yep. Oh, okay, oh good. no. Still on, isn't it? Heavy? It was heavy. Really? Yeah. Dang's had a good bite. Survive. As you were saying, you wanted to go somewhere else. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Dane's on. What are you calling, mate? Oh, no just pull some drag. Jump, jump, go on. Got a bit of a head shake though, hey? Imagine if it was a big grunter. Oh, come on, big tasty fish. I absolutely no idea what it is. I pulled it off the rocks and it's going for it, so it's not a cod. What an arvo. Just on sunset. Middle of bloody nowhere. <clears throat> this could be the last fish of the day though, guys. We've got to get back and anchor the boat in a nice deep hole and leave the boat in the water overnight. And then we're going to go back to the cruisers and cook up a feed. He's staying deep, eh? Yeah. Oh, what is it? Oh, it's a barrel. It is a barrel. Why is it not jumping? Oh, this has got real. Oh, no! <laughs> what happened then? He saw the net and swam out of it. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> he wasn't. <laughs> yeah. Well, Yes! That's a ripper. How good's that? We are like, basically calling last cast. I think I literally just said I'm not feeling it. Yeah, feeling it. Yep. Oh. Yep. It's deep it too. As you said, yep. It was like the same time. Simultaneously. And that's what it was. <laughs> Big barra. <laughs> oh, I'm chucking a vibe on him. We're getting another one. Oh, Unreal. Yeah, buddy. Yes. <laughs> Good one, good one. Yeah. What way to finish the day. Yew. Yeah, boy. Oh. How good's that, mate? Yes. What a legend of a fish <laughs> off the rocks on a vibe. Yeah. And we've just met old Feels mate over here too. in the background. His name's Rick. He's over there. He doesn't have a boat. So you reckon we give him a barra for dinner? I reckon. It's a good deed. Fish god. Seems like a nice Come guy. On. Beauty. Let's measure it. Fan of the show, Rick. Pointing gonna... us in the right direction of a big fat croc. Boy! He's gonna keep an eye on Dane because he stretches fish. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's seven, 78. Oh, nearly. 78, bro. The last one was 68. You just went 100 mil bigger. How good's that? For the Arvo. Love it's the vibe. Love the vibe. Alright, let's see if I can get one. Yeah, feels alright. It's no monster, but uh, it's not big. It looks like it's a power hook. Not as big as the last one, but it's still a barra. Still an afternoon barra. It's still legal. Ah, the boy. Atta boy. Oh jeez, he's not bad. He looks small in the water. Hey, oh, he's alright. Thank you. Yeah. Beauty, eh? Oh man, that's awesome. That's another healthy fish. How <laughs> good sunset fishing here <laughs> in Buddy Cape York. Look at it. Look where we are. And these guys are just on the tree. We said that this morning when we were here and it was quiet. We thought the afternoon, the water's a bit warmer, the tide, that last bit of the tide pushing out. We're not fishing experts, guys. We're, <laughs> yeah. just, bloody... we're just making it up. Making it up we're just we coming go, up with but... theories and trying them out. 72. 72. Nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah right. boy. Nice. Back in the water. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's hard to do because we don't have much. We actually got stuff all fish in the fridge. You guys saw what we caught today, that's all we got. But we've already eaten one. We've already eaten one. We've got to eat one later. As I've only got one in the fridge. Well, we've got to do something tomorrow. Yeah. Bye. Right. It is very www.wildreaches.com.au. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm knackered. Well, you reckon that's it for the day, eh? Yep, I reckon that's it for the day. Are we going to yep. do a cook up or is it just going to be too dark? Uh, we'll see. We might take you guys back to camp, do a uh, cook up. I can't think probably out of this day. Yeah, we need some Thursday. food, water. We should have a barocca. That'll make us feel better. Mm, it would actually. All right, we're going to get back, anchor the boat in a nice deep hole, and then um, get back to camp. We'll see you guys back there. Yeah, that's good. Pretty well done. Can you give that a quick mix? Yeah, that's done. You want that um, cooker? Cooker. All right, it's all happening here, guys. Back at camp, cooking up an absolute feast. It's so nice coming back from a huge day of fishing, and we've both literally got nothing left. And you've got like good fish, good food. And just reminiscing on the day, thinking back about the fish that were dropped and the fish that you caught, what you did wrong, what you did right. Um, all these little things, hey? all these little stories yeah. we've both got. Not many were dropped today, which were good. Were they? Was that to me today or the other day? It was the other day where I just kept dropping them every fish. Yeah. Right? No, we did pretty well. <laughs> it's the vibes, those two bloody yeah. two sets of trebles, the vibes really work. So yeah, we're cooking a couple of big barra fillets there. Dane's going to whip up a... Uh, Oh, I There's nothing in there, mate. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting there. Uh, we'll hit Dane's over here whipping up this sauce. So if you go back to season four, is that season four? Yeah, season on the four, on yeah. the beach. I think it might have been one of the first nights on the island. We did Spanish mackerel. It was like a chili Spanish mackerel with it. Oh, it was crispy skin. That's right. That was delicious. Um, we're not doing that tonight. We're doing barramundi. We should have left the skin on, but I didn't even think of it. Um, but yeah, we're going to do the Asian sauce. So a bit of oyster sauce. A bit of soy, a bit of ginger, uh, shallots, and a bit of chili, and a bit of olive oil. I think Dane's getting the olive oil. Where is that olive oil? I have no idea. On rice, and it's going to be absolutely delicious. Um, might get the camera back out once it's all finished and just show you guys. But that's probably going to be wrapped for another episode up here in Cape York. Wild Reaches signing out. Thanks for coming along for the adventure today. It was actually turned into a really good day, hey? Oh, it was awesome. Great day, great fishing. Yeah, the reconnaissance mission really paid off. We found, we set ourselves a goal to find where the fish should be. And um, we put in the effort, put in the miles, staring at the screens, working out, you know, where they should be tomorrow and for the rest of our time up here, where these fish are hiding. And um, I reckon we did all right, we found them. So it's only gonna get better from here. Hopefully. Yeah. And it's gonna get better because we're gonna be camping way down there in the trees, you know, like we normally do. Oh, in the net system. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Because all these systems, you know, like a, we think it's the afternoon session that seems to be working best for warmer water and at the end of that run out. Yeah, it should be good. Should be the same. Yeah. Well, we, we know that the fish in this system have seen a lure. Yeah, before. true. It has been fished before. Yeah. It's the other system that we're planning on going yeah, to. We are hearing it very rarely if ever gets fished. Bloody exciting. I'm pumped. So. So yeah, thanks for coming along for the ride, guys. Um, and thanks for all the support too. Everyone buying, um, everyone buying merch. We really appreciate it. The hats and the shirts and all that. We'll try to come up with some more gear. Everyone's asking for stickers and singlets, and I will try and get onto that. We're just too busy out here having fun, but we'll get onto it soon. So thanks for the support. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit the like button and share it with your mates. And we'll see you on the next one. Oh yeah, oh so hungry. Cheers for watching guys.
And oh, cut. Hang on. No. Why? Oh. Subscribe. <laughs> cut. Oh. So good. It's amazing. And hangry. Or at all. Yeah, and hangry. Don't get really hangry. Oh. Oh no. We've had a bay. What has he done? That's the Ziploc failed me. That's false. That's actually not true. I do not get hangry. I do. I get hangry and I blame things like this on Dane. Like Dane should have checked that Ziploc bag then. <laughs> Actually, actually Beach right. needles in your uh We're actually you're right because of the light dusting on it. If oh. that was in the sand, yeah, we'd be in trouble. I, I think that's but it. That's it. That's it. It's all good. Well he's recovered. Oh, this oh just as I get over this side of the boat. Oh, <laughs> oh you're doing double GoPro. Oh. There you go. oh yeah, there we go. Look there you go, behind the sand. Film. film this one. Look at that. That's what I'm looking at. Good stuff. So if there are any cameramen out there who want a job. How did we get bad today, didn't I? I said 100%. We got him. Told you I was right 99.9% .9 of the time. <clears throat> I thought I was wrong once too, but I was wrong. <laughs> 